Hey everyone, it's time to Nefis and Chill, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the new armory system coming to the Elder Scrolls Online in Update 32, otherwise known as the Deadlands DLC. As you can see here, we've set up a armory station in this lovely home of mine, along with an armory assistant. So just to kind of give a brief overview of the armory system, it's a system that allows you to swap between different specs or builds, including your champion point loadouts, your attribute loadouts, your skill loadouts, and of course your gear set loadouts, in addition to curses and outfits. Uh, unfortunately, there is no Mundestones. Um, and here's a little clip, very interesting clip of uh, Rich uh, addressing my uh, theory as to why there is no Mundestones. Absurd theory that Nephis had. Uh, yeah, that uh, Mundestones don't get saved in the uh, armory because we want to sell Mundestones on the crown store. Absolutely bananas theory. <laughs> Absolutely bananas theory. Um, but that's where everybody's mindset goes, you know. Nephis is definitely sensitive to monetization in games. I get it. Um, so that's where his instant mind goes. Um, but yeah, that's a load of hooey. But that's neither here nor there. Like I said, in the absence of data, people will just go with what they feel, which is fine. But anyway, as you can know, uh, it is tied to a NPC assistant and a station. So the station will come for free to all players uh, in update 32, which is next patch, uh, as, of, as, of, as of the uploading in this video. And you can place this inside your homes. Uh, players, all players will get a uh, two slots, two armory slots for a total of up to 10 slots you can uh, buy from the crown store. I don't know what the price of the armory, armory slots are, but I'm gonna assume 1500, just like outfit slots. And then we also do have the Armory Assistant. Now, this is a more mobile version of uh, the Armory Station, obviously. He's going to help you outfit with the same loadouts you can get from the Armory Station in Overland content. So, in zones, in towns, uh, in dungeons. Um, due to their current philosophy regarding this system, which is an entirely different matter, and which I've covered in an extensive uh, rant that you guys may have seen before from me on the channel, uh, the armory assistant cannot be used in trials or PvP. So any timed instance, including solo arenas, I don't. You cannot use the armory assistant. You can only use it in dungeons, delves, overland, and pretty much any um, non-leaderboard and non-timed instance. So when we go to the assistant, Take it from an old he does have dialogue, and he has the exact same presets. Um, and it. So let's look over the presets here real quick, or the gear loadouts. Obviously this is very different from what PC players have with alpha gear or dressing room add-ons. Uh, in fact, in some aspects it's actually better than those add-ons, and in some aspects it's a bit worse. Uh, let's talk about the aspects that are better. So, because we kind of already just talked about what aspects are worse, because you can't obviously you know swap gear and trials and so forth like that. What's better about this is, you can completely skip doing the vampire and werewolf quest, quests now uh, when you have to cure your vampirism or lycanthropy uh, in order to become a vampire or werewolf. And that's a lot of time consumption just gone in an instant. So for example here, uh, currently I have vampirism. Let's say I want to get rid of my vampirism. Well, instead of going to that NPC that cleanses your uh, you know, vampirism for you, you can just hit equip build. And there's like a 5 second cooldown on saving builds and equipping builds. This is probably, you know, server related reasons. And as you can see, no more vampire. It's pretty cool. But you'll also notice that when I did this, the attributes also changed. So with the current, with the vampire preset, I had 64 points in the health. Now I have 64 points in the magicka. Now this saves you time from going to an attribute station in a capital city or a skill respect station because these skills here also change. Uh, it doesn't matter what morphs you had on when you saved the build or the skill loadout, it will go back to whatever it was. So that will also allow you to skip respecking at um, those respec shrines. And of course, you need to have the gear in your uh, inventory when you uh, are switching gear. And if you have outfits, you want to assign to the specific builds or gear setups for whether this is uh, for PvP or PvE. 
you can do so as well. Again, just not Munda Stones. And here, we're gonna switch to the Werewolf setup. And you'll note that, again, it says kill line game Werewolf. And we got Werewolf, and we don't have to do the quest. And that's a pretty neat thing, and this is gonna be a very useful thing from switching from, you know, PvE to PvP, from, you know, DPS to tank on the same characters. But yeah, uh, and again, I don't know what the crown store price is going to be for armory slots. You can buy up to 8 slots because you get the first 2 free. But I'm going to again assume it is uh, 1500 crowns, just like the outfit slots. Um, and of course the assistant, well we can't figure out the assistant, can we? How much would it be? Uh, again, it doesn't say on the PTS right now, or the public test server, but I'm going to assume, just like the banker, merchant, and so forth, it's going to be... 5,000 crowns, I'm assuming. If it's cheaper, great. If it's more expensive, I don't know. Now, before I show other uh, things about the armory station, more the miscellaneous details, like the icons you can assign, I'm going to show you guys what happens when you switch to a different character. And right here, we are on a different character, as you can see. And voila, it's not the same. So if you, let's say, you know, get a certain amount of armory slots on one character, you're gonna have to get another, you're just gonna have to purchase more from the crown store for a different character, uh, depending on how many players you do. Uh, I think for most people that play only maybe like one to two characters uh, for most of their ga uh, gameplay time, this is fine. But for people who often switch between a lot of characters, um, or even main entire characters just for specific roles or uh, specific setups, um, this could also be a blessing in disguise or a curse. Um, but yeah, let's let's look at some of the details here, like build settings. Uh, obviously, you can edit the name of the build so you don't lose track of what you saved the build for. Uh, you can also assign build icons. These are just kind of recycled icons from in-the-game assets. Uh, we, we, we see the veteran uh, mode symbol here, uh, sweet rolls icon. There are a couple new ones I can see. I think the hat's new. But yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. But again, yeah, that, that's pretty much it uh, for this. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Just a quick overview slash guide to how to use the armoring station, what it looks like, uh, what you can do with it. Um, there's probably a couple questions you, you guys might have that I haven't uh, specifically answered in the video. Let me know down in the comments below if you do. Uh, one thing I want to take note of, uh, you can buy or get the armory station. As it says here, it's free. For those of you who may be wondering how to get it in update 32 and onwards. Um, in addition to everything I've kind of gone over, we're just going to also show off the details of the armory station here. Um, pretty interesting details, the sabatons, a diagram, which is a pretty interesting illustration. Very uh, medieval <laughs> illustration. Uh, candlelight, and we got a uh, journal. And of course, uh, for the assistant, I can give you another good look at them. Uh, Grush, Grush Rock? Grush Rock, excuse me. But yeah, again, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, definitely do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video or learned something from it about the Armory Station system. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe and have fun.